from what I, I posted the first one, I, I talked about why should parents bury their children? The Lord showed me in a vision. I saw a big bat. And these bats were not the small part bats. They were very mature, like vulture. Then these bats begin to fall from the sky and they began to learn on people zinc. And I asked the Lord, why would this bat be in on top of this people's roof? And and the Lord said, Look at it very well. And I began to look, the vulture began to feed on a lot of children, a lot of children in 2023. And, and the Lord is saying that in 2023, that we should pray that a lot of parents will bury their children. So I don't know what it really means to you. So the Lord is saying big, small. And I began to see mature people of 15 years, 20 years, 25, 30, why their parents are the one burying them. And the Lord said, we must pray for these vultures to go out of our land because they were like vultures. So I can call them vultures, that's why I call them bats. The Lord is saying they are coming to suck blood, that the blood in the realm, in the dark world, is finished that they are coming to suck the first son's blood the first daughter's blood so it's something we should pray about that let god chase them that's what the vision talked about and the lord is talking about a sea monster which i talked about the first time that everybody is 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 going to experience a sea monster the sea monster will be a sign that one of the fallen angel has been released. And the Lord is talking about brutalizing. The Lord is talking about brutalizing millions of people. If one of those angels have been released, so we should have to pray and say, Lord, give us more grace and more patience to come to you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Because the Lord is saying this sea monster is not like a fish, but everybody will see it. Its mouth is bigger than whales. It will kill a lot of, it will destroy ships. And it's going to take a lot of things out of this world. And this is a sign. And it is a place where we'll begin to count that seven years is remaining. That's what the Lord is talking about. And I began to see in Florida, of florida the florida the the sea the sea level began to rise from next week this week we're entering the sea level began to rise as as the sea level began to rise a very so high as it's beginning to rise and people were watching it they cannot be able to detect what is going on they keep looking instead of them to relocate so in the vision i saw that this tsunami that is coming, this flood that is coming, this disaster, name them, earthquake that is coming to Florida is going to, is, is it not taking half of the city of Florida. I'm talking about it's going to get close to the end, to the city. You know what I'm saying about a lot of houses will be soaked with water. I don't, because I'm saying Miami part of it, Miami is going to be part of it. The sea level will come into the city. And remember, the places this water will destroy, they will not be able to build it back for decades of years. It will destroy. So take a lot of pictures right now in Florida and wait and compare when this water will come. You will see that this water will destroy it and for it to be rebuilt, it's going to take close to a millennium that's what the lord is saying so it's going to be so disastrous in florida you will go out of power supply millions of people will go out of power supply that you cannot be able to change charge your phone you cannot be able to contact or connect so there's going to be a lot of homeless people that's what the lord is saying in u.s so precisely the florida history is coming that it has never happened before in the history of florida the united states of it are you understanding what i'm saying that's what the lord is talking about and the lord is talking about another prophecy that has to do with humility there's a lot of people who are in the kingdom of god who are so proud
the Lord is starting from the church. The Lord said, I will humble them. You will see men of God who will fall sick this year. A lot of men of God will fall sick that even money in millions of dollars cannot be able to solve them. That's what the Lord is talking about. That millions will fall sick. A lot of millions of pastors, a lot of millions of political people, a lot of millions of individuals who thinks that they are rich, they are untouchable. The Lord said, I will bring humility to them with my hand by force. That's what the Lord is saying. And the Lord is saying, for those people you have underrated, for those people you look down on, the Lord is helping them. A lot of people that have been mocked for years is about to be helped. And I even began to ask myself, Lord, me being able, am I part of this? The Lord is saying that you will be part of it if more humility will be seen. And I began to say, Lord, help me to be humble. And, and I saw this vision very clear. Are you understanding me? So, we should be very, 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 very prepared for what is coming in 2023. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And there's going to be a rivalries of gangsters. This is gang member. This is gang member. This is gang rivalries. And I saw in a southern country where a different gang member were together and a different gang members were together. And I saw in America a gang war and a gang war. And I saw in Jamaica a gang war. And I'm seeing in different countries a lot of gang war. What do I mean by a gang war? You are in this gang member, you are in this gang, is same as courtes coming together and fighting against this is youth. That's what I'm saying. What will stop the youth from dying and their parents burying them is part of the, the process because I'm seeing gang, a lot of cultism gang. You will see about 20 people, you will see about 20 people shooting at themselves physically, trying to show the physical manpower. And in and, 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 and other words, I'm seeing the police coming to separate, then we have a lot of police that is going to die also in this battle. I'm not talking about one country. I'm talking about Africa. I'm talking about America. I'm talking about Mexico. I'm talking about nation. I'm talking about war gang. Gang war. It's, it's, it's coming. It's very close. It's not in months. In few weeks from now, there's going to be a gang war. That's what the Lord is showing me. And that's what the Lord showed me today in Zambia, Lusaka. Precisely, these people were mentally blind because I saw they smoke a lot. They stayed together. They smoked together before they came out. They were using sophisticated weapons. So we have to pray and say, God, every gangster rivalries that will cause death among our youth, Father, we pray that it will not happen in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And, 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 and in another vision, I, I, I saw what we'll call a one-minute silence for a superstar. I'm not going to call the superstar name because if people will doubt, people will fight, people will quarrel me, so I will keep quiet. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So we are, we are going to pray for this superstar. But there is another superstar I will pray for. I'm going to pray. They call it money. They call it money. I don't know. It's from Senegal. We also have to pray for money because this is a foundation that is fighting money. He's a superstar, but he is not the superstar God is talking about. That they will do one minute silence. So we have to pray for that particular superstar for him not to die before his time. And that is what I'm saying. And I'm saying reign of anger in Southern Africa. I'm saying it for South Africa. The anger reign, the reign of anger. I'm seeing it for South Africa. I'm seeing it for Zimbabwe. I'm seeing it for Zambia. Then before it's going to move to Namibia and Malawi and Botswana. I'm seeing this anger of rain. This anger of rain does not care about anything. This anger of rain we pull off. But it's going to be more worst in Zam Zimbabwe. It's going to be more worst in Zimbabwe if this rain fall. It's going to take days. But we know that it's going to cause more flooding in, 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 in South Africa. But in Zambia, it's going to cause worse situation than in Zambia. 
it's going to be a hell of a mess so we have to pray and say god every rain of anger that is coming to show its anger on us that we pray for your mercy in the name of jesus so that is what the lord is talking about so it's going to cause a lot of problem uh, that's in the vision and we should also pray concerning bomb blast there's going to be a bomb blast in nigeria in this season there's going to be a bomb blast bomb blast i see bomb blast in nigeria i'm seeing bomb blast in the uk i'm seeing bomb blast in the united states of america there's going to be a bomb blast that is what the lord is talking about so there's going to be a bomb blast hmm? there's going to be a bomb blast but in the realm of spirit i'm seeing financial emergency urgent financial favor i'm seeing an urgent financial favor this is urgent financial favor i'm saying urgent very urgent financial favor to the kingdom of god and the lord said this will this money is coming for you to buy and keep this money is coming for you to buy and keep that's what the lord is saying this money is for you to buy and keep not for you to save the money is for you to buy and keep that's what the lord is talking about that's why it's called urgent financial favor and 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 the lord began to show me there are cars that is about to be built in nigeria it will be reassembled in nigeria it will be moving around because i'm beginning to see the product of elon musk but it wasn't is 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 a but i'm seeing something that looks like innocent i'm seeing innocent innocent car electronics in in nigeria i've said it before is a sorry it's a reminder it's electronic cars where people go to charge the car is going to be more like a filling station because the lord is looking listen let me tell you something the people of nigeria the Lord is saying, even the people who are the Biafrans are wicked. The Lord said, the people who are the Oduduas, the Yorubas, are wicked. The Lord said, the people who are the Nigerians who say, oh, they are the Muslim. The Lord said, they are wicked. But if you divide yourself, they are all wicked. None of them is good. But I am the only righteous God. That is what the Lord is saying. And I said, what do you mean? The Lord said, the scarcity of fuel in Nigeria is caused by the same evil man. The scarcity of fuel is caused by the same Yoruba man. The scarcity of fuel is caused by the same Awosa Muslim man. But not in his own side, but in the south-south and in the southeast the lord said no tell them to repent for i will pass my judgment against them for they are wicked against them their brothers and their sisters but they claim they want peace they claim they want a country of their own but they are wicked to their fellow brother that is what the lord is saying he said tell them i am warning them for you have increase things you have made things expensive for your brother for you have seen every opportunity to make money you have seen every opportunity to dupe the people you have seen every opportunity to cause problem so what could this mean in the side inside the same biafra inside this or the dua i saw the agitation after the election and they began to fight themselves because i saw like three people i saw different faces in the biafra coming out causing trouble fighting themselves the lord said i will bring confusion among their midst until i will take away the wicked ones from them are you understanding what i'm saying so the lord is not talking about the biafran country the lord is talking about judging the bad eggs in the biafran country he said they are looking for opportunity to be wicked to their own fellow brother for you are shouting liberation for you are shouting biafra for you are shouting for the separation but you are the same wicked man for you are the same wicked woman for you are the same person who will buy for one naira and you will increase it to a hundred naira because you are looking for an opportunity to be rich you are looking for an opportunity to be better than the next person but you all are fighting for one cause the lord said i will separate rice from beans and I will select the dirty ones 
from the fruitful ones so first i will allow the devil to betray themselves but first i will allow the devil to scatter them then i will bring them back with the good egg for the ways of the biafra is my ways and i will make sure the biafra will come to us the lord of hosts and that is what the lord is talking he's talking about south south and southeast for all of you are wicked for you all who have called the present government wicked you as individual are wicked for you have suffered your own people you have increased the price of your own people you have made life so wicked and so hard for your own people but for the muslim make things cheap for themselves they walk in peace they are in unity but you that i have called to be for your people you have been wicked to your people you have decided to sell the petrol in a difficult way for your people you have decided to hide the benefit from your people and you people will suffer for you people so you, you people will suffer for you people what does the lord is saying i cannot really identify so let us watch how the betrayer will be coming to each and every member of the southeast who is part of this agitation in a negative way that's what the lord is talking about and the lord said let them prepare for my judgment is coming against them that is the vision and i saw a part and talk about namdekano as i'm talking to you namdekano signature will be signed in the next few weeks for his release and the lord said namdekano is coming up with a health challenge I, i've said it i said it last year People were still fighting me. I saw him, he's suffering from health challenges. And the Lord said he cannot be able to fight for Biafra. The Lord said, I will raise a man that will take away the evil from them. So Namde Kano is coming out, but despite his coming out, he's going to say, oh, let us don't vote. Let us don't vote. Let us don't vote. Let us don't vote. But whatever high it is, it is not my business. I'm not coming to talk about election. I'm done with it. I've talked about it before that Peter Obi will be betrayed. Inside the Labour Party, he will be betrayed. They will sell him out in the Labour Party. And the same people who will betray Peter Obi is the same Biafra that will betray the Peter Obi. These are the same evil people who will betray Peter Obi. These are the same Biafrans who will betray Peter Obi. These are the same people who will chase him out of the land. These are the same people who will feel he's disgusting. These are the same wicked people that will betray him before the election. These are the people that will give him lesser mark. These are the same evil people who will steal his ballot box. These are the same people who will hide the voter's card. These are the same people who will pay their people to vote another man. These are the same people who are celebrating Peter Obi, Peter Obi, and the Lord is saying behind his back, they will stab him. I'm saying it for the fifth time. The Lord said, I will judge you all. For you appointed a man to be your leader, but you have become the same betrayer to that same your leader. That's what the Lord is talking about in the terms of uh, the election, the Biafra. And, and in the realm of the spirit, I began to see government house catching fires. This is financial, ministry of finance, this is two, I see two big stores in Nigeria, two big market stores. But let us pray for Alaba market. Let us pray for Onicha market. Let us pray for Alaba market. Let us pray for Onicha market. Let us pray for a place in Enugu market. Let us pray in Abuja. Let us pray in Lagos let us pray in in france let us pray in the united states of america because i'm seeing lightning 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 in this same florida i'm seeing lightning i'm seeing killing i'm seeing i'm seeing fire everywhere the office the market individual houses i'm seeing fire a massive fire that the lord showed me in december and i said it i've said it early january i'm saying it again a maximum fire that's what the lord is talking about and the lord say this rain will not stop till the month of april the month of april that is when the rain 
will begin to stop. And the moment the rain stopped, I began to see sun. Sun began to come in a very dangerous way, a very mysterious sun. This sun will begin to eat the skin. The Lord said, let us pray against the sunshine that will torment us. That is what the Lord is talking about. Sunshine that will torment us. That is the vision I saw. And, and in the next part, there is a specific superstar. There is a specific superstar who is suffering from uh, cardiac um, cardiac arrest. And we don't know uh, who is this specific person because I'm not ready to talk about this specific person. But the person is suffering from cardiac arrest. So this person will be publicly or publicly uh, be seen suffering from this uh, sickness in the next few months. So let us pray. Uh, I will not tell you if he's a politician or if he's not a politician. So let us pray concerning it. You, you are welcome. Don't worry. You can you can have a seat. So that is what uh, the Lord is talking about. So uh, as much as we are going to, we should also prepare for absolute strike. Absolute strike doctor strike teacher strike and, and and that that is it so and we should also pray for a lot of presidents in the southern africa but especially i saw the the president of um Ramasof, is it Ramasofa, or whatever they call him, is the president of South Africa. He will be rushed to the hospital, but I pray he survive, and, and I decree. I know nothing will happen to him, so the Lord is with him. So that is one. And, uh, and other Southern African presidents will also fall ill. The president of Zimbabwe, the president of Zambia, the president of uh, Malawi, the president of what they call uh, Botswana. That's what the Lord is saying. So I began to see a lot of them being hospitalized. And this is the last year for the president of Cameroon. And this is the last year if the people pray. It's going to be the last year of the Uganda president. It's going to be his last year if the people can pray. Remember, if they can pray, this will be their last year to rule. And let us also pray for the president of Rwanda is having an inbuilt um, health challenges that he's acting strong. Whatever that will take him out of the scene by death or by illness, let God help. Thank you so much. That is that is what I'm saying concerning the president. And specifically, let us also pray for the country Ghana is going to suffer from earthquake. For the first time in history, we pray that nothing will happen to him but thank you lord in the name of jesus and, and i began to see people uh i began to see people in east africa i began to see people in east africa that is what they call cross dressing that have to do with the movement of gay the lgtb i saw i saw a lot of people uh dressing like women in in, 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 in concert. The worst part, I begin to see this artist doing so. I began to see one singing a worship song. I began to see a man, everybody well known, with a good haircut style. I'm not going to call his name. He was with a microphone and he was singing a worship song that is very popular in the Southern Africa. And while he was singing this song, I looked at his dressing. His dressing was looking more like a cross dressing he dressed like a woman and he began to talk about the liberty of lg or lbt whatever they call them he began to talk for the liberation concerning that gay marriage and began to deceive people and people who were coming for the concert for the second day began to dress with what we call cross dressing men dressed like a woman and this thing became so 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 Bad. And I began to see even the non-believers, the non-believers who doesn't believe in gay marriage began to fight them, telling them this is not God. This is not God. It became a, 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 
it became a clash between the unbelievers and the believers so you begin to see where the unbelievers began to say thank god that they are not believers because this can never be god even when they are not believers but this cannot be the life of god so we have to pray very very serious to pray for this nation south africa and that is why the lord is saying it will not end that my destruction for south africa will not end i will extend it again that is what the lord is saying that is what the lord is saying and and it comes back to zimbabwe the lord said i am watching the people if you bring back your president you will suffer it for i am no longer with him i have left him that is what the lord is talking about so protest is coming to the zimbabwe community and agitation is coming and god's judgment it's also coming and that is what i saw in the vision of the lord and the lord is talking about what did i say in the other one they call him the td jakes he has dropped his crow and he's back on earth to arrange his house so let us pray for strength and including benny he also let's also pray for strength and for the two great men of god in nigeria i'm not going to call their names i've called them before last year and last two years but i'm not calling the names and the lord is saying that their time a father and a son will be gone and he shall spread his spirit around the nation i told you that apostle johnson suleiman will be the father of nigeria do you know why the lord said for his critics for the condemnation for he has gone through the lord said i will put a crown on his head for challenges will come but it shouldn't shift you out of my work for he has stayed steady consistent in the place of abuse in the place of condemnation in the place of reproach so i will give him the crown so he shall take the place of his father and the lord said he will pass and many blind will see for he will walk for many cripple will walk for he will speak the government will listen for the same government who wants to fight him he said the government will bow for him that will speak that's what the lord is said he said do not calculate it for god he is god you cannot decide for him who is to choose that is what the lord is talking about so we have to keep praying for this country uk the united kingdom i told you before that the, the 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 nation that will attack them have something to do with uh something like have to do with uh green and red are you understanding what i'm take, saying so this is it has to do with green and red with a half moon and a star that is going to attack them in their railway system and in their airport system through the back door mostly so that is what the the lord is talking about and and i've spoken all these ones in the past so that is what the lord is talking about thank you lord for in jesus mighty name we we'll pray and 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 before i say end of this prophecy for today i want us to be praying very seriously let's pray for the entire world seriously because a time is coming it's not an earthquake the world will shake everybody will feel the shaking and the shift that is what the lord is talking about in 2023 and in the vision before i saw a big rock falling on the ground and this rock will not be captured by the satellite so that is why the africans should pray and say lord let such thing don't drop in our soil because i saw this thing in the europe world i saw it in the western world i saw a rock coming down they could not get it because before they could strike it down it has eaten and swallowed half of a nation so we have to pray and the lord said this is a sign but before it will happen there is going to we're going to experience a rain block that is what we we'll call a rain block it's not an ice a stone will be falling like rain from the sky so what could this mean i will not tell you the country is going to be falling then then this thing keeps falling after one day after one week it will come before this rock 
The Lord said, for those little tiny rocks to be falling, the Lord said, it is a sign that the bigger one is coming. So let us pray very, very serious because the president of Ruto, I saw the president of Ruto begin to suffer from a heart and a stomach problem. So he will not be in public for a short period of time because he will struggle with health challenge. I saw his stomach becoming a problem and his chest and his heart challenges. So that is what we should pray concerning him. And I went back to Ghana, the president of Ghana began to suffer from the same health challenge. So almost all the African country began to suffer from health challenge and let us also pray for the president trump the lord is bringing trump back because he has a mission for trump do not pray for the so-called what they call them i'm not calling them the republican because the republican is for trump the democrat if the democrats continue to rule your nation america you will cripple you will cry you will beg and i the lord will turn my back against the nation for democrat is not of my choice and for republican open your eyes wising up your things and my things are not the same that's what the lord is saying so God is talking about the United States of America. So after the Florida will be taken away by tsunami and all the necessary earthquake, ETC and the rest, the Lord is moving to New York. The Lord is moving to New York. The Lord is moving to Detroit. The Lord is moving to Washington, D.C. The Lord is moving to Ohio. So the Lord is moving into 30 states. We have about 50 something. We are going to express a lot of things in 30 states, it will still move it. The only states that will be free will only be three states. And I will not mention those states. The Lord said, do not. These are the only three states because they were the poorest state and they are the local people. The Lord said, those are the people who still fear God. There are three, but the rest will suffer the earthquake. It is this year, 2023, that United States will suffer from earthquake, not one. It's going to come one, it's going to come two, it's going to come three, it's going to come four. So let's keep praying because not one earthquake will happen. They will become series of volcano also in the United States of America. So thank you so much, everybody who have listened to this prophecy. Let us pray for God to preserve life. You cannot stop the prophecy, that's one thing I know, but you can pray to preserve life. That is the most important thing. So as the Nigerian youth also prefer to go for revolution or evolution, whatever they call it, as they block the street, as they fight for their rights, let's also pray for freedom because I see so many dead youth on the ground. Some of them will be burned, some of them will be shot, some of them will be bombed blast, some of them will go blind because of tear gas, and some of them will be missing. That's what the Lord is saying. He said, pray for your government is ready for anything. This 2023. And thank you so much for listening. I want to say God bless you. And I'll say until you will meet again. I appreciate all of you. Keep praying for me. And thank you for praying for me. And I said I love you with the love of God. For some of you who wants to support the ministry, you can inbox me and I will give you the details. And please, there are so many Freuds out there claiming to be Abel Tamuno Minabo Buma. I only have one line, which is the Kenyan line. That is what I use in welcoming people before I would give you I would give you my personal line. I have a public line which is Kenyan line, the two five four. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So don't take any other name. Don't take on on any other number. I don't have any glue number they are putting there. I don't have any MTN number they are putting there. I don't have any Airtel number. I only have Airtel number. I mean, what they call Safaricom is a Kenya line. I was in Kenya before that was a line. I am still using, use that line to communicate with me until I will personally give you my line. I don't ask for money here in social media to tell people do anything for foundation. I only have 
ATB Foundation, which is my name, Abel Tamino Minabobuma Foundation, which is ATB. I'm not in any northern part giving to any charity of any nonsense. And the charity, my account does not have any charity added to it. It is my name, Access Bank and First Bank. You will see the name Abel written in that place. Is that my name on Facebook? Is exactly on my YouTube? Is exactly on my all my gadget that I'm using on social media? I'm not using any any other thing so let nobody deceive you about charity i have my charity if i want it i will say to you so thank you so much for listening god bless you remember your first fruit to your church to your pastor remember evangelize people remember to bring god into your family into your life and be conscious of the holy spirit he's the only one that can protect you for now i will say good night god bless you everyone that have stayed with me from the beginning to this moment may the good lord bless you and shine his countenance upon you in jesus mighty wonderful name we pray good night and god bless.